Hello, I'm here today to show you how I made this background image on this card. So the first thing I did is I used the Big Shot and ran the Bigs Tulip die through there. And this is just a piece of paper on here to show you the design of the die. I took this die, I placed a piece of window sheet, thin window sheet over it, and ran it through the die. Then I ended up with basically a stencil. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my brocade piece of brocade blue piece of paper and rub it with an embossing body so that the um, so that the embossing powder doesn't stick where I don't want it. Then I'm going to take some dotto adhesive because it's removable and I'll place that down on my paper. Now I'm going to center this on my cardstock and Let's see, get the image on there, center this. Okay, I have this centered on my cardstock, and then I'm going to take a sponge dauber and a well-inked Versamark pad, and I'm going to just go down and add Versamark to my cardstock, making sure that I get the entire image. And this is why I taped down the stencil so that it would not come up and move on me. Okay, just done. When I get done with adding my Versamark, I am going to use clear powder. I'm going to take some clear powder and sprinkle that over. Take this off. And you'll notice that I didn't add any color. Okay, so now I need to just quickly rub off my dotto adhesive wherever I had adhered that so that doesn't grab powder. Okay, now when the embossing powder comes, it comes in a little bottle, but I transfer it to one of these little um, plastic containers just so that I can sprinkle it over my image without having to get it back just in that little bottle or using the paper. So this works really well. And then, there we go. Okay, I have some powder that's stuck where I don't want it to, so that's when I pull out a little paintbrush and rub it off from these spots. The embossing Buddy does help with that a little bit, but I think it's stuck where I had some of that adhesive. There we go. Get that right off of there. Once you've heated it, you can't get it off. So you need to do this part before you heat your image. So there's my image. Now I need to make a little bit of noise here with the heating tool and heat it up. And the ice heat tool. And then as it starts to melt, you should be able to see it change. There we go. So now I have the subtle tulip image on my cardstock. And this is using clear embossing powder over the Versamark, so I didn't add any color. It's just so then I'm going to pull out my finished card again, and this is how I finished off the card with a little piece of scalloped cardstock, a sentiment, and some ribbon. If you have any questions, be sure to contact me at chris, C -H -R -I -S, at mystamplady.com for more in, um, inspiration go to www.mystamplady.com. Thank you for watching.